One of the guys who's exploded recently here, you all know this guy. Oh, what's up? This dude. <laughs> Jeremy's in the room. Uh, you came to the first offer mine, yeah? And uh, you, you told, this is what he said. He's like, I could barely keep the doors open working out of the garage. And uh, I learned what you guys are about to. You crossed two million bucks. What are you at now? Over four? I got to get faster. <laughs> You're on my heels. That's awesome. Round of applause to Jeremy. That's really, really, that's awesome. Um, it's, um, and this is the whole point. Breaking news. Most of your sales messages, offers, and funnels are actually good enough to make money right now. Okay, right now. In fact, most of the offers I've seen, they're good enough. It's not that there doesn't need to be some tweaking to it. That's not the issue. The issue is that they're not working because you made what you would buy, he said, right? You're too focused on the product and not why it sells. And then finally, you're talking to the wrong person, right? And that's what we're going to walk through uh, with this as well. Falcon Bunch. Any questions? <laughs> if you know what that is, you had a great childhood. <laughs> Any questions, though? It's the intro. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Sound good? What are you guys most pumped for in this whole process? The offer? The offer? <laughs> You're in the right place. <laughs> Take that, yeah, yeah, having a funnel that's good enough. Yes, yes. Hey. Two hundred offers, yeah. So, and Russell often will say, like, stick with an offer until, with one offer until you get your first two comma award to make sure that you get it. So, yeah. like, I'm thinking in my head, well, Agora obviously gets it more, right. more than the rest of us, but like, how different were those two hundred offers? Like, what, like, what is Russell really saying when he's saying, stick with one offer until you hit your? So just to repeat, so you guys can all hear, sir. So we have um, <coughs> Agora does 200 offers to see which one works, but Russell says do one till it makes a million, right? A lot of those offers were iterations on the previous. They're just relaunching to see. What they do is they have a huge room full of writers and copywriters, and they're writing tons of offers, and really they're writing the sales letter to see if it sells, then they go make it. So they're that, that's really how to play the game, right? Don't go make it and try to figure out how to sell it. Do the exact opposite. So you, s you figure out the sales message, sales message. That's why you have to make the sales message and the offer at the same time. They, in they influence each other heavily. Okay, it's a great question. So when Russell's like, go, what happens is an entrepreneur does all this work. We go figure out all this stuff. We cut our teeth. We go through five years of failure. We get start to get that first one that starts hitting. And then we're like, this is so cool. What else should I go build, right? And we get distracted. He's like, no, put your feet there and stay there till you make a good chunk of change with it. So it's not that you, like, if I had stayed on try number two, I wouldn't be in front of you. You know what I mean? Um, there's a huge difference between getting distracted and realizing, like, this is a bust. I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah. Any other questions? Should we dive in? Yeah. Let's do it. Welcome to Create Your Core Offer. <laughs>